What a beautiful start to your President's Day. A live look at Midland. Look, it looks like cotton candy right now with these high cirrus stratus clouds. Usually these type of clouds that you do see indicate that inclement weather is either leaving the region or coming into the region within a couple of days span. It is coming within, no, the next 24 hours, gusty winds blowing dust in the threat of storms as well as an increased threat of fire danger. So a lot to talk about today. But a beautiful and calm start. Temperatures in the 40s, mostly clear skies. A band of clouds moved off to the east. We had some rain showers earlier in the far southern eastern part of the basin. Now we do notice that we have an upper level low pressure system in Arizona moving off into the east, closer to the basin here. So we're going to be talking about some inclement weather later this afternoon. A fire weather warning issued by the National Weather Service in the northern counties, in those purple color counties, in effect till 6 p.m. And also a high wind warning in the highest of elevations of the Guadalupe Mountains and also the Davis Mountains. Winds gusting over 60 miles per hour. So as those winds rise, so with those temperatures, high temperature at 78 degrees. Some areas getting into the 80s, low temperature around 45 degrees here at Midland Odessa this morning. So well above these averages for this time of year. We could be tacking on our precipitation total for the month at 0.15 inches. We need it because we have drought-like conditions in many parts of the basin, and that's why we could be seeing blowing dust because of those gusty winds picking up the really dry soil conditions. We also have a marginal risk of severe weather in the far northern and eastern basin. Storms firing off around 2, 3, 4 p.m. So if you guys are traveling around that time, please be weather aware. All those storms will move off to the east with drier conditions, especially as we have throughout the evening hours. Any storms ending mostly around 10 p.m. Flash flooding and maybe even some frequent lightning will be the biggest concern. So in terms of flooding, avoid the flood roadways if you guys can. Turn around, don't drown, and drive slowly in some of those puddles because you don't want your car ending up looking like that. Drier conditions and cooler conditions overnight. Low temperature of 46 degrees with gusty winds sustained from 15 to 25 miles per hour. Gusting maybe as high as 30 to 40 miles per hour, especially early within some of those thunderstorms. A very similar setup to last Wednesday evening. Very warm, similar to last week, 70s and 80s. And then cooling off into the 40s overnight tonight. So, so well above normal for this time of year. As we head into tomorrow, another warm day, but maybe not quite as warm as today. Few degrees cooler, high temperatures in the 70s. Still very mild by the evening hours in the 50s. So, still mild out in front of our next cold front. Those temperatures will take a dive as we head into tomorrow night with a slight chance of freezing rain, some snowflakes, and maybe some sleep pellets. Low temperature around 25 degrees. Barely get to the freezing mark with mostly cloudy skies on Wednesday. So, at least a 40 degree temperature drop from tomorrow afternoon to Wednesday afternoon with still cool conditions and breezy conditions later in the week.